Okay, so in this video, we're going to expand a little bit more on how we go about displaying letters on um, the sense hat. So I'm going to start with, I've imported the sense hat again, um, done all the usual stuff. And here I've actually got a few more colors than I usually do. And so this time I'm going to, as we did last time, say show letter. Now I don't actually have to say, because I'm not, just, I'm not going to have any background color, background color is just going to be turned off. I won't have to worry about saying whether the color that I'm putting in is a background or foreground color. It's just going to assume that it's the that it's the actual text color if I just put that value in. So if I if I run that there, you will see that the M will appear there. So I'm just going to clear that, stop that running. Right. So we've got that there. So that's that's nothing different to to what we've done previously. Um, now what I'm going to do is um, again to save you putting up with my horrible typing. I've copied that a number of times now, and I've now got the whole lot here. Get rid of the carriage returns or the end of lines. Okay, so you can see here that I'm going through for each one of the colors, and I'm going to display the letters M-U-R-T-A-G-H. So what I want you to do, I want you to pause the program, and I want you to predict what is going to happen when I press play on this. Okay, so you now have... Pause it, let's have a look and run and see what happens. Right, and it's just really hard. We, you you can't see on that screen there, but you would have noticed on your own one that it's actually flown through and it's just gone straight to the H. Radio, and if I go stop, and if I run that again, it just goes straight to the H. And so why is that? Well, the thing is the computer's run really, really fast and it's gone through all of those letters. So we're gonna introduce you to another function here. I'm just gonna stop that from running by clear screen program. Uh, we're going into a new little function which comes from a different library, okay? So we've imported stuff from the sense hat library. This time we're going to import time. Um, no, we, sorry, from time, we're going to import um, sleep. And we're going to see what happens if I use the little sleep command here. So if I come in here and I go um, sleep and open my brackets and go 0.5, and I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to put that after each letter. And we're going to start to run out a little bit of space here. So let's just bring that down here. All right. And. You see that I've gone down and I've put it after each letter here. So what I want you to do now is if I want you to again, I want you to pause for the second time in this video and say, well, what's going to happen if I decide to run this program? What are we going to see on the display here? So pause that, predict what's going to happen, and then come back and we're going to run it. So, okay, hopefully you've run this now. So let's just run it and see what happens. And you can see that you can actually see each character. So what's happening there is that um, it's going to run and then it waits for 0.5. Now this is in seconds, so it waits half a second. Right, yeah, so it sleeps for half a second, then does the next command, it sleeps for half a second. So that's what our little sleep command does there. So what I want you to do is have a bit of a play, have a bit of an investigation, uh, muck around. I want you to change the colors, change the message, and again, see how fast you, or how slow you can make this go, but also then how fast can you make this, which is still readable, which is still noticeable. So off you go, and we'll see you in the next video.